The internet is a scary, scary place. Either because somebody does something wild or somebody comes out with an opinion that makes you question, is there something called a brain inside of your skull? Because there's no way you thought of that. Today we're going to talk about the brain power that people don't have. There are groups of people online who are upset at the Wakandians and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier for disarming Bucky of his vibranium arm. Oh, it's such betrayal. Oh, how could they do that? Shut the fuck up. Pay attention to the shit you watch, and you might learn something. How you foreign niggas stop it? I was born in the tropics. I'm the way keep the mosh pit, and they came with a starship. Yeah. yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, I'm really from the tropics. Fuck is you doing the next? What good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is, so check it, right? All right, y'all. So we all know the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is mad fucking lit right now, right? Yes! Hell yeah! The other highlight of episode four was the Dora Milaje coming in trying to apprehend Zemo. A lot of stuff happened in between. In that, you had Bucky getting disarmed of his vibranium arm. And people are upset. The Wakandians don't trust nobody those are bad people. Uh-uh-uh. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. First off, people don't pay attention to the stuff that they watch. They claim to be comic book fans. They claim to enjoy the MCU. Oh, Civil War was such a great movie. Well, why won't you pay attention to the fucking film? Because the Dora Milaje, A.L., had every damn right to be up in that fucking house. Zemo, the man that orchestrated a terrorist attack on our former king, T'Chaka, is walking around free. That's a problem automatically, right? But then he's walking around free with the most deadly assassin in history, Bucky Barnes. But we also gave Bucky a vibranium arm. Oh shit, a lot of people are going to get fucked up. Now, if the Wakandians were such, oh, evil people, the Dora Milaje, those bitches, oh, then they wouldn't have even came out of Wakanda to look into the situation. They would have simply said, hey, the likelihood of Bucky coming back inside of Wakanda, finding a way in, slim to none, that ain't gonna happen. America have your fun and let him go on a killing spree if that was to happen. They stepped in to apprehend Zemo. They had every right to be there. Plus, that vibranium arm, that's their shit. I don't have nothing. Yeah, you got some. Why you tripping, Debo? Shut the fuck, I knock your ass out. They had every single right to be there in that scenario. We're talking about the Dora Milaje, the most badass group of women that don't possess superpowers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And these women putting a fail safe, AO in particular, inside of a Bucky's arm is so smart. Like I just said, this man was a deadly assassin. He was snapping necks. He was punching people in the face till they died. 
he was doing some crazy shit. So if he was to ever be controlled again, ever to be mind wiped, we need a way to disarm him of his greatest weapon, his vibranium arm. That's his greatest asset, physically. That's a fucking weapon. It's indestructible. That man jumped out of a plane and landed with the damn arm. <laughs> Come on, that's a weapon. A fail safe makes sense. You gotta be careful of all these situations. Folks out here crazy. They crazy, especially somebody with a vibranium arm. Oh, hell no. And then I start to notice that black characters in the world of comic books that are not sidekicks, that are not the backup option <laughs> to a white starter. These characters always create such a ruckus in a comic book community. And then I'm thinking like, hold on, wait. A failsafe, a system put into place by the Dora Milaje. Huh, that reminds me of a famous white superhero. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is known for having contingency plans. Bruce Wayne walks around a bat cave with kryptonite in his sock. Bruce Wayne will go to dinner with Clark and Lois with kryptonite in his wallet. Bruce Wayne will go into outer space on a mission with the Justice League with kryptonite in his belt compartment, all right? Bruce Wayne has kryptonite next to his bed at night. Bruce Wayne is known to be a hero that has a contingency plan for the contingency plan for the contingency plan. And a black character having a contingency plan all of a sudden, it's the worst thing ever. They don't trust Bucky. They already trusted Bucky by rehabilitating him in Wakanda. He was a white man let into their area of secrecy. He's walking around a free man. They already trusted him. That was basically Ao sending a message like, hey, don't go out here doing crazy shit and not letting us know that you're walking around with Zemo. We need to fucking know because that man killed our king. That was basically her way of checking him. Hey, yo, bitch. <laughs> I got my eye on you. All right. It's been weird, but it's been real. The internet is so damn dumb. Oh, my God, is it stupid. All right. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here, bitch. When I pull up, she gon' look though. Look at he mad, ain't look bro. She bad as hell, but can't cook though. It don't matter, but you still watching me while I did it for the look though. A hundred feet worth of drip, don't drown this fly shit. That's the look though. And look though, look though. I'm the wave, you can look though. I'm something different, I don't think you get it, but I still did it for the look though. Look though, look though. Yeah, I did it for the look though.